Okay, I want to show you the difference between a San Diego train station and a Japan train station because it is now Saturday night at like 9 o'clock when it's just starting to warm up at the train stations in Japan and there's 5 million hot chicks with short skirts and 7,000 uh, salary men with suits and, and red faces and everyone's throwing money at you and shit. But in San Diego, this is a normal train station, how they look. It's pretty much like freaking zombie and just woke, woke up and, and there's a bum over here. There's a guy over here who's going to jump me if I don't sing the right song. And uh, if I ever played in a train station in California, I'd probably make like 25 cents in pennies if I was that lucky. <laughs> over there, I made like $300 some train stations, but... This ain't Kansas anymore. I mean, this ain't Osaka anymore. What else can I do? I'm easily confused. What else can I say? I'm stupid and I'm gay. In the sun, California sun, freezing cold, and no one's here, and everybody's crazy. Crazy. And there goes the train And not even a policeman to kick me out Because there's no Mizu show by girls Throwing fifties out Like in Matsumoto, Matsumoto, yeah Some salary man who was being walked by a He's a show by girl. The Mizu show by girl took his money and said, Give him 50. Yeah, 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 but not in San Diego. You're lucky if you don't get jumped. There's a lot of crazy people taking I don't know what. Are we crazy? No, we're not. We are crazy. This is like how you play at the train station because like you might get one or two people walk by every hour because like with but most of them have headphones so they won't even hear you because they're like oblivious to the people sitting on the side of the road playing the instruments because they think you're homeless because who would who would fucking play this instrument on a freaking train station if you're in San Diego unless you're homeless because all the people in San Diego that have anything cool to do are riding Ferraris and Maseratis and BMWs and you know all the gold digging uh, what did he call them? Bill Burberry said there's a... We have a serious, serious epidemic of gold digging whores in this world. And I couldn't agree more if in relationship to San Diego and the rest of California possibly, but... You have to go watch his video because I, I don't subscribe to everything he said on that, but I do think it was funny. And that was just comedy. This is a comedy video too, so anyone who tries to take me to court for... for um, my invaluable free rights being disenfranchised from me. Oh yeah, disenfranchised. Cause I'm crazy. Yes, I'm crazy. I don't have any rights anymore. Cause I welcome to California. You can check out anytime. But you can never leave. Because the dog has made you breathe in the sun Getting a suntan and skin cancer And everybody saying, hey, you gotta get married May, yeah, yeah, yeah I just made that up That isn't the real song It must be cause I'm gay Or really fucking straight I don't know, I can't tell, cause I'm, I'm so disenfranchised and legally separated from reality in a bubble called America. Everyone salutes the flag and says, war is meaning peace. I don't know how that can be Cause it is the opposite of what it appears to be And I don't want to be blown away by Tomahawk missiles and drone warfare Until my mom and dad die Yeah, yeah, yeah That's not America I thought I 
belonged to before I fucking moved away in my self-imposed exile on the backside of some other fucking G's. Oh yeah, I was another fucking G, but I was in the back street and the Backstreet Boys singing in the back of the beer bar in some little pub in the middle of nowhere in Nagoka or Shibata or any one other place. You gotta understand my plight. I don't like to freeze at night with 30 blankets on because we don't have heaters run all fucking night because no central heating and if you might burn your house down with the tatamis they might catch on fire if you live the, and you might suffocate because you got kerosene kerosene and you see your breath inside your house and you say oh my fucking god I can't freeze another time like this. I'd rather get beat up on the streets of San Diego than fucking go through another Niigata winter in a fucking Niigata house with fucking no central heating. And my wife wouldn't let me freaking put a fireplace because the fire would, the smoke chemicals might disturb the neighbors. Wah. And so we gotta see our breath inside. We gotta thaw out our toothpaste and our toothbrush so we don't fucking cut shards of glass, glass like uh, molecules called icicles. On your toothbrush. I think that's part of the song. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is what it's like playing in a train station on a primetime Saturday night at nine o'clock in the something in the evening, and and you can even go to bigger stations and it's not as any more alive than 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 that. So that's a total different culture. You know, I got, came back and had culture shock that I couldn't play in train station and actually have people actually partying on the streets like they did in San Diego. I mean, in a, my other dream, San Diego, called... I went to 200 train stations, played all over the Conto Plain and above. I went to Morioka, I got kicked out by the screaming fucking cop who thought he was fucking the reincarnation of fucking Hitler or something. I didn't understand what he was saying because he was screaming so fucking loud I couldn't understand him, but he was kicking me out of the station because I was making noise under a tunnel when people were walking by and I wasn't singing in proper Kago or something but that was kind of fun after that I went to another place and I played and, I, and a radio guy uh, tried to interview me and his, he said my, my story is too radical for their newspaper after he, he was going to publish it and the newspaper said no that's a little bit too wild the guy's sleeping in his car and he's driving motorcycles across the country and he's freaking defying the police and shit get kicked out of stations because that's fucking revolutionary we ain't gonna put no revolutionary stuff in our local newspaper of Akita it was Akita I played in I got kicked out of fucking uh, another near uh, Kashiwazaki or something no totally opposite I was playing in a cool station that was totally cool and everyone was digging it and I got a lot of money came back the week week after and the fucking cop just fucking went ballistic on me like what are you doing in Japanese and fucking such a fast language I couldn't understand what he said but I, I said you know what dude I know your fucking dad was sent to Burma and he, he had sex with all the comfort ladies but that doesn't give you the right to act like I'm in the war and I'm fucking going off to, and I'm fighting for the opposite side or something that's how he was treating me and I was like freaking sumasen kesatsu man don't fucking give me your bad fat lip shit I'm fucking I'm in charge here of myself cause I'm a private citizen and I'm a, in a free country and the war is over dude so go back to fucking the 40, 40 43's or something anyway that's just a little cultural understanding of how fucking batshit crazy California got after the fucking GM tore up all the train stations and made everyone think that if they were going to be in a Hollywood movie type of lifestyle, they have to have their own damn car, which I have a car and a motorcycle because I'm like Mr. Hollywood and shit, and I don't go to train stations because my wife and daughter went to train stations because my daughter loves trains and, and motor cars and freaking buses and shit, but I'm like, freaking, I don't think so. It's kind of crazy, and I was like kind of worried, but my wife survived and my daughter survived and good thing they always usually came home before it got dark because it was summertime or it was the end of end of uh, fall time it was still light out before the freaking sun god went away of, into Hades okay so I'm going to play another song just because I don't know when the oh the train's coming right now i got to come back to you later